Hey, Suga. <laughs> I know this is a weird kind of look. Uh, but, uh, happy Friday, everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> y'all, my face is hard as Chinese arithmetic. Do y'all hear me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I thought I would come and holler at you guys. This got to sit on my face for 15 minutes, and it's only been five, so I thought I'd come and shoot the breeze with y'all for a few minutes. I'm up and about, and um, I'm going to somewhat start my day. And I want to say thank you to everybody that left comments on my last video of Corey's um, hospital visit. Um, the scan went well. We don't have the results. I go on the 9th to get the results um, at 1.45 in the afternoon. So look forward to that. He did really well. He was real cranky, of course, afterwards. Um, he has a really, really deep, deep, kind of dry, real dry cough um, from having the tube put down in his throat. He had a breathing tube in and he had a tube in his stomach that they um, used to put the contrast in with. So, um... He did really good, you know. He came home. Uh, we were able to get him something, get him to drink a, a little bit while he was there. Otherwise, they wouldn't let him come home. So he did that. We came home, and he got in the bed, and he went to sleep. And he slept till about 8 o'clock last night. So we got home about maybe 1-something yesterday, and he slept till almost 9 last night. And then he finally went back to sleep about... Um, 1 30 2 o'clock this morning he's sleeping now he just ran me out of my bed okay <laughs> yeah so him and dad is in there snoring together but i want to thank everybody for um for your comments and your prayers and just coming over and watching and listening i was so nervous yesterday i have not felt good in over a week I don't know my digestive system and then I ate some hummus that did not sit right with me and I haven't been sleeping well so it's just a lot going on with me and so I've been trying to catch up on my sleep so whenever I feel sleep coming on I go to sleep and so I've already had my sleep <laughs> sleep I woke up um, I don't know what time it was I woke up but Corey was still up, so it had to be about one o'clock, some something like that, and um, about one thirty this morning. I think I was. I think that's what time it was. Whatever it was, I'm up. Thank you, Lord. And um, so I'm gonna see if I can go back to sleep. Well, it's 5.59 in the a.m., so I know I'm not going back right now because I got to get my little ones up for school. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize my hair and um, go on and put my wig back on. That way, if I need to hop in the car and go somewhere, I could just slip on some, some shorts or something and a tank top and some flip-flops and be out the door. So... Um, I'm trying to get the video to come up so I can tell you guys thank you. So what I'm getting ready to do while I'm waiting on that, if I can doggone find it. Okay, somebody been in here. My, um... Where's my do grow bottle? I got some do grow that was really and truly making my scalp itch, and it was itching horribly. I guess you could say, Oh, what you say? Somebody I've been in here and swiped my shades. I know ain't nobody did it but Ashley. I know that's who got it. I bet you my last dollar. Mm-hmm. 
I can't find my do grow. But anyway, I got something I want to come back and review with you guys. Y'all, I got a straight up mess right here for real. I can't find nothing. I'm going to have to get something and tie these clothes back out my way. Because I got a, a, a shelf over here that I got stuff on and I can't find. So what I'm getting ready to do is. I'm going to have to make do with what I got. So I'm getting ready to put some of this African Pride Olive Miracle Anti-Breakage Formula Maximum Strength Growth Oil. It says, help stop breakage, split ends, and dryness. Okay, I'm getting ready to put some of this on my scalp. I washed my hair yesterday morning. I made a video I was going to do um, something with my Malaysian hair. I made some clip-ins. And, um, because I was pressed for time, I couldn't take my time to do it. So I wound up throwing on my new curly do. So, I'm getting ready to part my hair. I washed my hair yesterday morning, like I said, with, um, my Motions products. And it is extremely dry at the moment. My scalp is... My hair is somewhat, you know, once when you first wash your hair, it takes a little time for it to get back right. So, I'm going to try this. On my scalp. Make sure I get to the front. Okay, comb. So, it's Friday. I got a, I'm going to try to, I got a, a couple of videos I need to make. So, if it's God's will, I'm going to push forward and I'm going to get up and I'm going to do it. I need to buy a, let me ask y'all a question. Do they sell just the, the memory card case without the memory, the little memory chip in it? Because I need, a, I just need, a, oh, look at that. The oil running down on my forehead. Mm, mm, mm. That means I'm putting too much. I don't need the memory. Well, I can always use memory, but I just want the little cases. Because one of my, my cases is saying that I can't use it. And it's one that I've been using for a, a while. And I don't understand it. My son said the little button that's on there, I should push, but it don't want to stay in place. So, I assume something has happened to it to make it where it, it it's not working. But I just want the little cartridges just to use because I got three, three memory cards that um, I just need a case for. I got a 32 gig, a 8, a 16, and a 12. And the 32 gig is full of my videos. I need to break down one day and just go and buy me an external memory. Almost done with this. Throw that in. And as y'all can see, oh, my gray is on deck. Now this right here is the um, mask, but all of this. And I'm trying to get my hair healthy. So that's why I have not colored my hair to cover up the gray. Not that I'm not proud of it, but, you know, certain types of, you know, hair weave that I buy, I want it to blend in right. So, but until then, I'm going to make do. Okay, got all of that done.
So what I'm going to do now is take some of my motions, leave-in conditioner. There's a little corner in here, and I'm going to add some of this oil to it. Just a little bit. And I'm going to shake it up, and I'm going to spray it on the ends of my hair. Okay, got that. So, well, kiss grits. The video never did come up. Come on, thing. I don't know what's wrong with this phone. Hold on. Okay. So, these are just the comments that I can see this under my video. I haven't gone on the computer to my inbox yet. Um, I want to say thank you to Nunu, the hair diva. Nunu, um, whenever I see anything that I think you might like, I'm going to tag you on Instagram. Y'all, I'm a research nut. I love to find things that I know my friends may like. So, if you don't want me to tag you in anything, please let me know. Um, cause I don't want to bombard somebody with something that they're not interested in or they don't want to be bothered. You know, that's just me. I love helping people. Um, while you're playing, I love to spend money. So when I can't spend money, I love to see somebody else spend it. <laughs> just being honest. Okay. But I like to spend it on things that I know people that I'm going to like. And I like to see people find things that they're interested in. And they're like, oh my gosh. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about junk. I mean, something that they've truly been looking for. Or something that they want. So, I want to say thank you to Nunu the Hair Diva. My girl, Eyes Merit Now. Uh, Fearless Femme. Uh, just call me Miss M. Mrs. M. It's Christy Love, Style My Curves, Kira, at Rena's House, and Tia0923, Gym Spot TV, Miss Raleigh, Budget Madam, and Curiosities Extrano. I know I might be butchering that, but you know who you are, my girl okay thank y'all so much for the love and support i was a basket case yesterday really i was and um i didn't even my mind was so gone i was gonna film how they have redone the children's hospital and if you guys are interested you can google wolfson's children's hospital in jacksonville florida um it's the downtown location they have redone all of downstairs. I mean, truly. And it is so... It was futuristic. It was beautiful. They were still working when we got there. And um, they really and truly cater to children and families. And that is so awesome when you have children that are going through any type of illness. Whether you're having tubes put in your ears. Uh, being circumcised. Dealing with cancer. Dealing with any kind of thing. Just having x-rays. It is an awesome, awesome place. And I, I hate to say it like that because nobody wants to go, you know, deal with that kind of stuff with their children. But guess what? It's reality. But when you go to a facility that caters to your needs and try to make the, envi the environment more inviting and pleasant and peaceful 
and serene and enjoyable, it makes it a lot easier to deal with. You know what I mean? Um, you don't want to go walking in and everybody's face looking like they ate some spoiled greens or something. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to go into that. You want to go in with a smile. You want to go into a clean, disinfectant place, okay? You don't want to smell, excuse my French, asmolati. Because I have been in some hospitals and you, the sewage system have been... Be, I'm like, do they not know who roto Rota is? For real, though. Mm-hmm. So... Um, I truly, <laughs> I truly in, uh, was, you know, just in another headspace yesterday and, um, he goes back on the ninth. So if I can remember to record it, I will, but we're not going to be at the hospital. We'll be at the children's clinic, which is across the street. So, um, yeah, I, I absolutely, I, my husband told me, he was like, you know, I didn't know people can come down here and volunteer. I was like, yeah. He was like, baby, have you ever thought about that? I said, yes, I have. I'm waiting to get Corey in school. I called some places today about getting him in school. But guess what? They were all booked up. And I will not send him five and ten miles away to go to school just for, what, four or five hours. Heck to the no. Okay, no, we will not be doing that. So when I told my husband at the school's around the corner from me were all booked up he was like well, never mind they'll see him when he go to kindergarten <laughs> so if there's an opening that comes up he will be going to school i'm gonna try to come on today if i can remember to do it and let him read something for you guys they gave him a poster at the hospital today and i don't have it with me and he read the majority of that paragraph by himself and the OR nurse was in the room. She was getting ready to take him out. And she just stood there with her hand on her hip and her mouth wide open. She was like, uh, how long has he been reading like that? And I said, girl, your guess is good as mine. Because um, Corey was barely three and he could read Despicable Me. Y'all know when he first went into the hospital, that's when he got turned on to Despicable Me. I didn't know he could actually read it. I didn't know he could actually spell it till he went and he came and got me once we got home. He said, mommy, come here took me in my son's room my son had an xbox 360 with the connects on it so he's standing there and i think i recorded it and i showed it to felicia um i said check this out old dude stood there with that remote and he spelled out despicable me and i was like oh my goodness okay yeah so um yeah so hopefully he'll do it um you don't know you know kids are iffy Corey getting iffy. He's stubborn. Mm -hmm. So, um, my 15 minutes are up for my face. Y'all see it? I did a little something. But what's on my face is this. And um, I'm going to also, I, what I washed my face with first, I slathered my face with Noxzema. My face and my neck with Noxzema. And I rinsed it twice, and then I put this on. So, my next step would be my... um. I don't have it in here. My clean and clear. And um, I'll be back, y'all. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all to life. I send y'all hugs, kisses, and many blessings. <sighs> y'all, I need you to pray for our girl, Cynthia. She's in the hospital. She has to have heart surgery today. They have to put two stents in her heart and one in her leg. Cynthia Davis Murphy, we all, please come and touch and agree with me for healing she doesn't have anybody she's in the hospital by herself you know her mom and dad passed away and she doesn't have any siblings she did tell me that one of her church members is gonna come um and visit her tomorrow and you know it eats me up that i cannot be there because you know anybody dealing with any type of surgery is hard especially when you're by yourself and you don't have any family there with you she don't have any family or friends you know what i mean she's got family but there's nobody there you know, and dealing with, she was like, Risa, my spirit is weak. And I told her, I said, you can't give up now because I need you. I need you. I don't want you to give up. And she was like, I don't know what to say. You know, she said, I just don't know what to do. And she had a doctor's appointment yesterday. And she went into the doctor's appointment. And they kept her behind. It was like, oh, no, you're not going home. We got to do this is this is this. And I'm like, oh, my word. You know, and, and I know some people can sit back and say, dog, every time you turn around, there's something. You're right. That's just the world. Every time you turn around, there's something. And we have to stay prayed up. I had my own little pity party yesterday. I was going through something. 
And um, you know what? I said, Lord, forgive me for trying to handle things in my own way. I give it to you. I give it to you. I trust you, Lord. And I'm still learning. I ain't quite there. So whatever I come and talk to you guys about, I'm learning myself. You know, I can actually sit back and look at some instances when things have happened in my life and I can relate it to you. So just know that I'm a work in progress and I totally appreciate you guys coming and watching my channel. Um, I got to pick up the pace and do some more things. I, it just has not been in my spirit lately to do so. And um, y'all just keep me in your prayers, my family, and I will do the same for you. I love y'all to life. I see your hugs, kisses, and many blessings. And I'll be back, y'all. Bye, sugar.